The tents are coming down at the protest camp outside the Muskrat Falls Hydro project. Because a lot of people here, after 10 days, felt like we lost. They're going to go ahead and do what they wanted to do anyway. We feel like we lost, and our leaders let us down. Early Wednesday came news of a deal reached between Innu and Inuit leaders and the Premier of Newfoundland and Labrador. It is significant. It is meaningful. The, the way hydro projects will be developed in the future has changed because of what we have agreed upon here today. But how can we rejoice about building a dam? Dams are ancient history. It's 100-year-old technology. Green energy, but at a price for people who live and fish downstream. The main reason for the protests is methylmercury. If the reservoir is flooded without removing the trees and topsoil first, studies show the toxin will work its way up the food chain. And no matter how much they flood, they could flood a meter and still going to be methylmercury coming out the land. They got, we're asking them to clear cut, clear cut all vegetation, and then we, we'd be satisfied. The deal over Muskrat Falls doesn't go that far yet. It does promise science-based decisions to protect human health, that Indigenous voices will be on an independent advisory committee. When the people who shut down Muskrat Falls for five days finally came out, it felt like a celebration, but it was tainted by frustration with the province, Nalcor Energy and Indigenous leaders. Todd, Yvonne, everybody, no more secret meetings. We're going to be around, we're not going to be kept out this time. We're back to square one, it doesn't change anything. A day later, people are packing up, but not giving up. Give me one hour, <laughs> and I can be back here again, ready to go again. That's all I need. As Learning and the others clean up the campsite, Nalcor Energy is getting back to business. The RCMP are still on site, the court injunction is still in place. They should have stood up for us and said, no. You take you you drop all charges. But there's a lot of people here, and a lot of people are going to be charged. But they just I called them weak and you know had no faith into them before, and they proved it. You hurt me. Nine people were arrested here earlier in October. Others have been served for violating the injunction. More charges are possible, but people say that's not going to keep them from fighting Muskrat Falls, and neither is the deal the Indigenous leadership reached with the province. Trina Roach, APTN National News, Labrador.